Ryan Day, you managed to do it again. You managed to lose to Michigan again. Not with Jim Harbaugh, but Sharon Moore out of all people. Sharon Moore, and as much as he crying shit, you managed to lose to that guy? That was a damn shame. You got a $20 million team, and you still can't beat Michigan without Jim Harbaugh. Ryan Day and that Ohio State Buckeye AD and president went out and spent $20 million for some of the best talent in all of college football. They lured a lot of five stars from their programs that they was with last year to Ohio State via NIL. And they spent a hell of a lot of money for this team. And they still can't beat Michigan. You paid. Talking about Oklahoma. I mean, talking about Ohio State. Talking about Ohio State. Ryan Day, that president, and that AD. Y'all spent $20 million for Michigan to whoop that ass again. Y'all paid $20 million to put zero points on the board in the second half against Michigan. You couldn't even get a field goal in the second half after you done paid $20 million. <laughs> Y'all better get rid of, rid of Ryan Day. Man, how many times in a row is this that Michigan then beat on Ohio State? How many times in a row? About the fourth, fifth time in a row? That's a damn shame. It is a proven fact that Ryan Day and his Ohio State Buckeyes just can't compete with even the worst Michigan teams. It's fact. Proof is in pudding. Proof, of that, proof has been shown over the past three, four, five years. He just can't do it. After all the success that Ohio State had this season, after sharing not $20 million, you come in and lose to Michigan under Sharon Moore out of all damn people, out of all the coaches in college football, you lose to Sharon Moore. Now, I could understand y'all losing to those Oregon Ducks. You know, they got a pretty decent head coach in Dan Landon, a pretty decent team. So I can understand them. That's why they sitting at number one right now. But to lose to this version of the Michigan Wolverines should be beneath the Ohio State Buckeyes and Ryan Day. After going out, spending $20 million. And I ain't going to let y'all forget how much money y'all spent for this team. Once again, $20 million. You probably went over. That's probably just a damn lie. It don't make no sense, man. It don't make no sense. Man, this, this should, every Ohio State fan should be embarrassed right now. Y'all can talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide. I don't give a damn. But every Ohio State fan should be embarrassed. Ohio State, yeah, you still going to the playoffs. But I don't give a damn about that. There is no way, I mean no way, y'all should have lost to this Michigan team. Everybody else was beating up on them. Y'all come in into, into this game as the number two team in the nation. And y'all do this. And not only did you get beat by Michigan, Michigan came to your house and did it. What y'all call that bullshit? The horseshoe? Whatever the fuck it is. They came to your house and beat y'all. You know that? Stuck that damn Buckeye right up damn, right up Ryan Day's ass. That's what they did. I don't even know what the hell a Buckeye is. They tell me it's a damn P. I don't, I don't even, some kind of peas or some shit. I don't even know what that bullshit is. But I know <laughs> they stuck it right up Ryan Day's ass. I can tell you that right now. Y'all just can't beat Michigan. Michigan is y'all daddy. Ohio State wished they could be like Michigan. 
Ohio State fans, don't say shit else about no damn Buckeye. Don't say nothing. You should be quiet the whole damn season. You shouldn't say nothing unless you win a national championship this year. And I doubt if you did, you can do that. Even after paying $20 million. Don't make no damn sense. Shit, Michigan ain't even got no star-studded players in my book. They don't. But guess what? Ohio State do. Ohio State do. Ohio State got several star-studded players on this team. Uh, let's just name a few. Quarterback Will Howard. One of the best running backs in all of college football for the past two years. Three years. I'll say two years. You bought him from Ole Miss, Quinshawn Justin. He come to, come to your program against his rival. 12 carries, 46 yards. Y'all ruining the man. You ruining him. <laughs> oh, my damn goodness, man. This makes no damn sense. Y'all ruining that man. But, hey, it is what it is, man. But y'all got some star-studded players, man. Then on defense, you came and got Caleb Downs. You opened up the pocketbook. Gave him a whole bunch of money to lure him away from Alabama. And you over there ruining him. You running him, then you still got Trayvon Henderson. You still got uh, not that that's that's uh yeah, you still got uh you got Qu Quinshawn Justin, Trayvon Henderson. Come on, baby. Two of the best running backs in college football, and you still can't beat Michigan. Still got Mika and Buka, Jeremiah Smith, still can't beat Michigan. <laughs> you lured Caleb Downs away from us, still can't beat Michigan. You lured that quarterback. From uh, what what's his name? You lured that quarterback from Alabama, even though you got him on the bench. Still can't beat Michigan. Five star quarterback, I might add. You still can't beat Michigan. <laughs> oh my damn good Michigan own y'all. Michigan own everything in the state of Ohio. Everything. Damn. Ryan Day. Ryan Day, I still got you. I still label you as a good head coach. You can win a lot of games. But when it comes to the big games, you just can't get it done. In that order, you can't get it done. When it comes to the big game, you was a failure. You are let down. That's what you are. In big games, your head coaching skills is less than average. Mediocre. That's what they are. That is you, Ryan Day. That is your resume against Michigan. Medi mediocre. Mediocre. You seem to never be able to show up against Michigan. Oh, and then what did Michigan do at the end of the game? They wanted to plant that flag in the middle of Ohio State's field. And then Ohio State players decided they want to show a little fight. Where was, where was that energy during the game? Where was that energy the entire second half? Where was it at? You want to fight when the clock hit zero. Too late then. Go ahead and take your ass on into the damn locker room and let Michigan do whatever they wanted to do on your field because guess what? They earned it. They earned the right to plant that damn flag mm, right in the middle of your matter of fact that's Michigan's field that's Michigan field when was the last time the, the Ohio State Buckeyes beat Michigan on that damn field let me know let me know <laughs> y'all hey it, it was I bet it was cold in Ohio but guess what Michigan served y'all a hot ale mm-hmm Warm up. They serve you a hot ale. That's what they did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't win them all, man. You're 10 and 2 now. Hey, guess what, Michigan? You got one more win than my Alabama Crimson Tide. Good job. <laughs> Lord have mercy, man. I love it, man. You know, I love it when these top tier teams 
I love it when they lose, man. I love it. My Alabama Crimson Tide got a win today. Them Ohio State Buckeye took a loss. Them Clemson Tigers took a loss. Them Miami Hurricane took a loss. Auburn took a loss. You know I hate them. You know I hate them. Ooh, we Texas A&M about to go down. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Did I leave anybody off? Did I leave anybody off? I don't think so. But uh, Ryan Day, your future is looking mighty bleak. And uh, Michigan is the reason for that. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know how many more chances that you're going to have to try to beat Michigan or try to get a W against Michigan. But I'm going to say, Ohio State, they might give you one more chance. I don't know. Ohio State might go off this season, this offseason, and spend $40 million trying to buy a damn national championship if they don't win this one because they still got a chance. But from the look of things, it don't look like it's going to happen. <laughs> so Ryan Day and Mr. AD and Mr. President of the Ohio State University, you might want to pay just a little bit more money, double what you spent last offseason, make it $40 million, and that just might bring you a national, well, we're going to before national championship, that might bring you a Big Ten championship. <laughs>